At the Natural Gourmet Institute, our policy is strictly no GMO ingredients. And we do a whole lecture about GMO and the dangers associated with GMO foods and what crops uh, are genetically modified and how to avoid foods, all the additives, uh, all the hormones, all the enzymes that are in uh, foods and how to avoid them. The reason we have a, a non-GMO policy is because of the uh, overwhelming evidence in animal studies and some human studies of the deleterious effects on health. I believe that GMOs are a problem for society. I believe that there is too much potential for cross-contamination and um, unapproved species entering our food chain. Um, so I advocate against them and educate my students to do so as well. So um, when I tell my students about uh, GMOs and our foodways, they are usually pretty shocked to find out how many different types, how many derivatives find their way into our processed food systems, but also the ways that GMOs find their way into our livestock chain so that even if we're buying grass-fed meats even in some cases, if they're not organically fed, those animals also are tainted with genetically modified organisms.